These are the basic tools you'll need to work on residential plumbing system. This video focuses on tools you'll need to install or repair fixtures, faucets, ply and drain pipes, things like that you'll commonly see in homes. These tools can be used by contractors such as myself, or plumbing apprentices, or homeowners doing their plumbing work themselves. This is my main plumbing toolbox. Before I can show you the tools, I have to show you some of the supplies. Throughout plumbing work, you're going to have to constantly reach for extra supplies, uh, things like gaskets, washers, uh, extra toilet bolts and nuts and things like that, uh, rubber O-rings, slip joint nuts, and of all various sizes, various types and sizes. I mean, lots of stuff like that. Other than that, you'll also need uh, things like Teflon tape. You're constantly going through caulk. Um, I use these little ones because they're easy to carry in the toolbox. There's a Teflon tape. Some more caulk. Some is clear and some is white. This is plumber's putty, which you'll use quite a bit. Uh, there's different times and places for each. So you'd have to read the instruction of whatever you're installing. That's pipe thread sealant, or otherwise known as pipe dope. It's Teflon. And good old WD-40 for loosening anything that's stuck. Basically, lubricating anything that's supposed to move. There's other washers, specific types of little washers, plumber's grease, which comes in handy uh, installing things like uh, cartridges and things like that. And that's for electrical and what you just saw was uh, flux. Here are some of the basic tools that I take on every job. They include uh, your hammer, pens, pencils, awls, ratcheting screwdriver with different bits, that green thing is for my knees, a multi-tool with pliers, various bits, allen wrenches, okay these are various pliers, these are slip joint pliers with the uh, groove can use various pliers for different things. This one's better for pulling something straight out. Uh, some kind of uh, cartridge that's stuck or something. This one is smooth. These ones are good for opening up uh, slip joint nuts. Same thing with this, you can uh, use this, they call this a PVC plier, or for even for oil filters. This one here is a uh, adjustable, adjustable pliers, uh, pretty precise adjustments. And on the other end, they even have reamers for reaming out the inside of pipes. Here we have your basic tools for soldering a propane torch which you can light with either a flint or a lighter your solder various different extra joints whatever it depends on whatever you're soldering whatever size and I like to use uh, the steel wool fine steel wool you can actually also use the uh, the sandpaper to make it nice and clean. you have various adjustable wrenches This one's a strap wrench, in case you don't want to mar certain surfaces. This one is a Husky adjustable plumber's wrench, they call it. This one's a basin wrench. That rigid faucet tool on the left basically does the same thing. Uh, it's for installing faucets getting up in the hard to reach areas behind the sink to get to the to get to the faucet. The 
supply line goes right in the middle and you can turn it this I haven't really used this yet but it's a backup snake for sinks and a little yellow one is for hair I use a larger snake usually for snaking the uh, train pipes various screwdrivers this one is an insulated one for electrical work pressure gauge lots of scraping things you're gonna need some kind of scraper for that sponge for cleaning surfaces and this one these two cut PVC PVC drain pipes without having to use a electric power tool like a sawzall this one's an extractor shower faucet cartridges another extractor Here are various nipple extractors of different sizes and different types you basically tap it into into the nipple or whatever you're trying to get out and then you use a wrench to turn it counterclockwise to get it out This is just demonstrating. Put it in the faucet seat wrench for installing seats. This one's actually a Fernco torque wrench for installing Fernco rubber couplings has to be an exact torque. And this is the top shelf of my plumbing toolbox just showing you the various things I keep that I use the most usually. This is for cutting copper supply lines or PEX. That's some of the paper paper lots of little things for cleaning out threads uh, that's a reamer for reaming the inside of a copper pipe after you cut it can't have enough q-tips and things like that around cleaning things there's a file Cleaning up the outside of a PVC pipe or the inside. And various little picks and things. This is for a uh, garbage disposal. And then that's for cleaning basically anything. Anything small. So there you have it. The must-have tools for doing residential plumbing work. Whether you're a contractor doing basic jobs like installing appliances or swapping out toilets, sinks, or shower heads or a homeowner and need to do basic repairs or installations like replacing a washer and a faucet. Please let me know in the comments if I left anything out for basic plumbing work. At the very least, these tools should be the bare minimum you'll need to do plumbing.